echolocation is a fascinating and curious concept. The animals capable of using echolocation have excelled due to their extraordinary abilities. Echolocation is a highly developed sensory adaptation in which orders Chiroptera and Cetacea are able to detect objects in their habitat niches through the utilisation of reflected sound. It has evolved in at least five mammalian lineages. Convergent evolution has allowed these two orders to adapt to life in a low visibility environment in a very similar way. Echolocation plays a vital role in the animal's ability to obtain information regarding the position, size and other biological makeup of an object. The use of echolocation in both orders assists with general necessities such as locating prey, manoeuvring past objects, finding mates and determining which direction an organism is heading. Essentially, echolocation is a form of communication where the mammal is able to access information from its environment via the use of a specialised type of acoustics. Because of bats' extraordinary ability to echolocate, they are able to access a vast diversity of resources at night, allowing them to coexist in complex habitats from dusk till dawn. Bats take advantage of the abundance of insects available during the night. The bat's large ears facilitate with sounding out acoustic pressures emitted by the bat's own echolocation. The diversity of bats' frequencies varies depending on the different hunting behaviours. Bats open their mouth to emit sound, which serves as broadcasting system to help transmit sound waves or clicks to locate fluttering insects. During flight, they use constant frequency signals that allow them to listen and detect the movements of the intended target. Echolocation can be composed of two different types of frequencies, frequency modulated and constant frequencies. FM is used for surroundings and scans through different frequency tones, whereas CF signal stays at a constant frequency throughout the call duration. Once the signal bounces back, bats can maintain the signal and narrow the frequency to a precise region. This is detected in their ears through a section of the cochlea that augments sounds. The narrow bands inside the ear establish a comparative distance from prey or objects. With the comparative frequency ranging from low 50 decibels to a high 120 decibels, bats can identify objects through these frequencies. Whales depend on echolocation to navigate and locate their prey in environments where vision is poor. Targeting prey, whales use a series of sonar clicks. As they track the prey, the frequency of the clicks begins to increase, and right before they catch it, the clicks become so frequent that it sounds like a continuous buzz. Echolocation in whales is achieved through pressurised air being passed through the nasal sacs and the phonic lips, located near their blowhole. This produces a sound which is then concentrated into a beam through the fatty organ known as the melon. This beam is sent out and then reflected on their environment and prey. Once an echo is bounced back, they receive this bisonar signal through the oil-filled channel in their lower jaw. This is called the acoustic window. The signal continues moving along the jaw, reaching the tympanic and periodic bones located in the inner ear of the whale. From here, the signal reaches the brain, giving them a three-dimensional view of their surroundings. All this can happen within one millisecond. The sounds that whales make are much shorter in duration than those produced in bats, due to water being 784 times more dense than air. This greater density means sound moves five times faster and is the reason the odontocete's echolocation ranges up from 50,000 to 200,000 hertz. Compared to a bat, a whale can gain an acoustic vision of up to 500 meters, way more than they could picture with just vision. The Preston gene is present in both bats and whales, with the changes to this gene over time being responsible for their echolocation abilities. 
Both groups independently evolved this trait due to similar evolutionary pressures within their environment. This protein is expressed in the outer hair cells of the basal membrane within the cochlea of the animal. The gene enhances the basal membrane's response to rebounding sound waves, making the animals more sensitive to hearing higher frequencies and dynamic ranges. Because of this unique convergent evolution, a phylogenetic tree based on their amino acid sequence would group bats and tooth whales together. A phylogeny normally groups whales and bats in separate family groups, but converting to the amino acid method, the ethylocating mammals are grouped together. So come on in.